On May 21st, 2003, the northern Algerian coast experienced an earthquake of moment magnitude 6.9. The epicenter of the earthquake, due to its location in high population urban area, was catastrophic in its impact. The Bumerides earthquake and tsunami were devastating and resulted in the death of 2,266 people, injuring 10,261, with over 1,000 buildings destroyed and 200,000 people displaced. Despite Algeria's high quality transportation infrastructure, the earthquake destroyed three of the major highway bridges. Other infrastructures, such as roads and ports, were destroyed due to liquefaction. After the 1980 El Aznam earthquake struck Algeria, there was an upwelling of political will to develop the country's emergency management infrastructure. In this aftermath, a few key elements were focused on. Those were the central government's recovery and response capabilities, a national construction code in 83, a disaster reduction and management plan in 85, as well as an extensive campaign to recreate an infrastructure of technical institutions dedicated to the task of the development of seismic sciences. By the time 2003 arrived, Algeria's central government and scientific institutions were much better equipped to handle the event. However, the same cannot be said for the provincial local level of emergency response. The Bermuda's earthquake was characterized by a thrust fault. Thrust faults have a hang wall and a foot wall. The older rocks are pushed above the younger rocks, causing a point of compression that then triggers an earthquake. This occurred where two tectonic plates, the Eurasian and African plates, form a compression zone, meaning that the existing stress is focused towards the center of the rock. The tsunami then occurred as a result of the earthquake, triggered by a displacement in the fault line in the crust of the earth. An upward wave displaced the water, leading to a tsunami of varying force. In the case of the Bumerides earthquake, the water displaced ranged from a few centimeters in Sardinia, Italy, to more than two meters in the Balearic Islands of Spain. It was reported that the sea retreated by more than 200 meters in southern Spain. The earthquake struck Algeria around 7 p.m. Most families were at home eating dinner together or watching the national sporting event on TV when the earthquake began. Newscasters quickly came on air warning, leave your houses, turn off the gas, and do not use the lifts. The earthquake's timing resulted in many people trapped under their collapsed homes. The widespread destruction of buildings immediately called into question Algerian building and construction standards. Suspicions were furthered as the new government building built homes collapsed, while older French imperialist buildings remained standing. President Bouteflika was at the center of allegations. Bouteflika began his presidency in 99 and unconstitutionally held on to his office for four terms until 2019. Crowds threw rubble at his car, yelling assassin in frustration to the governmental inaction. Those who survived initially faced homelessness, disease, and insufficient access to water, electricity, and health care. Conditions became worse after temperatures rose, spreading disease from the remaining uncleared bodies. Islamic charities provided significant aid, including psychological assistance and counseling to those affected by the disaster. After the earthquake, the city of Bumerdas was in disarray. Response immediately came in the form of local residents, followed by government aid in the military, and then outside public and private aid organizations. Within the first couple of hours after the earthquake, local residents and authorities led the search for missing or injured neighbors. 48 hours after the aftershock, government response and official teams such as the General Directorate of Civil Protection and the Army came to help. Search and rescue operations teams also arrived with advanced equipment and search dogs to aid in the local volunteers in removing the debris and clearing sites. On an international level, many nations sent aid to Algeria at this time. Notably, Canada donated $150,000 for search and rescue. Sweden sent a team of 90 sniffer dogs to search for victims. And Saudi Arabia sent an aircraft with over 100 tons of food and supplies. The Bumerides earthquake pushed national policy reform for disaster preparedness and construction and development standards. By 2004, Algeria published the first National Disaster Reduction and Management Plan, implemented the law on prevention of major risks and disaster management, as well as updated seismic building codes. Moving forward, there are still gaps in construction oversight, architect qualifications, and uneven rehabilitation responsibility placed on the government.